Okay. Hey, Paula. Welcome to the family, y'all. Paula. How you doing, Paula? Happy to have you, sugar. Girl T Anna, I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Look at me with one earring on. Where my other earring? Hold up. Where my other earring at now? I got one earring. Hold up. Hold up. I kind of did. Y'all, the it rain done messed up the whole groove, child. Let me just take it off. Come on, you got to tell it rain. Come on. I know. I, I made sure I grabbed my it rain, too. I don't know if it's in the car or what. One more time. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, T. Anna. I can only be me. Hey, hey. The doorbell is the thumbs up, the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time for your girl. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Hey, if you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time, one more time. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Okay. That's all I ask you to do. I'm out of breath. Got it. Let me catch some breath real quick. Hey, sugars. How y'all doing today? Hey, oh. Uh, hold on. Thank you, Mom. Hey, oh, uh, Miss Parla once again. Bros, yeah, Miss Fifi. Um, um, Miss Reed. Big Baby Boo. Yes. Hey, Shaquille. Uh, hey, K Kathy. Hey, AJ. Hey, Latika Boo. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Martha Price. Hey, K.Y. What's up, Pearl Love? Hey, Miss Claudia Boo. How y'all doing today? Happy Sunday to y'all. Love you too. I love all y'all. Y'all already know I do. We finna cook some, um, something simple today, y'all. First of all, let me tell the folks that's gonna watch the playback. Welcome. I'm T on not gonna be me and I am an all-around channel but today is Sunday dinner we do Sunday dinners live if I decide that you know we, I'm not gonna if, if I decide I'm cooking if I'm not then I have a video post for y'all but hey Nita but on Sundays I do live cooking show for y'all okay not even a cooking show hold on let me let cooking vlog because this ain't no cooking show this is a cooking vlog because um you know I ain't over here trying to cook all that different kind of stuff I don't eat, right? Okay, so I'm cooking what my family gonna eat. That's normally what I do on every Sunday, y'all. I cook whatever it is that my family gonna eat. And so for today in particular, we're gonna be having us some baked chicken. Um, we're gonna have us some cabbage. We're gonna have some rice. And we're gonna have some homemade fried cornbread by my mother, okay? Hopefully, she get in here and still do the fried cornbread even though we on camera. She ain't know that I was going to be at her house, y'all, okay? So, for those of y'all that seen him, be like, Tiana, you done, where you going? Where you done moved? Who try? Okay, I ain't moved nowhere. I'm over at Mama house in her kitchen, honey, about to uh, have her neighbors peeking out the door, okay? I'm looking to trying to see. Fried cornbread, girl, yes. Mama made some good whole cakes, y'all. So I hope she get on here and do it for y'all, okay? She didn't know I was coming over here. Hey, Mimi and Miss Vernell, she didn't know I was coming over here, right? 
But we planned it all right before her eyes because mama ain't feeling too good or whatever. You know, we got a little bug that's going around. No, it's not that thing that everybody else that y'all know about. It's not that. It's just, you know, change of season and you get the stuffy nose and you, you getting ready for winter. You know, so basically that just been going around throughout all of us. So mama got it now. And, um... So she trying to, she feeling a little bit better today. She was a lot of stuffy yesterday, but she feeling a little bit better today. And, um, so I was like, so I was like, um, she at home with my husband. So I was like, um, I'm gonna just come on over here, right? Play it before her eyes. She didn't even know that I was coming. So we was all on chat this morning, playing it right before her eyes, honey. We was like, we going over there. I'm coming over there to cook. So I showed up first. And then when I got here, she was like, what you doing here with all your groceries? I showed Will Bella, how you doing, boo? It's are simply the best, okay? So yeah, we showed up over here. So we gonna be having Sunday dinner over here at Mama's Is you off today? So y'all ain't got nothing situated in here at all. Y'all already know it be you listen, okay? So if he's a mess, you know, in my own kitchen, but now that I'm over here in somebody else's kitchen. What's up, Shirley Boo? Now I'm over here. I'm glad you is, Jose. You need your dang gone break, honey. You got your Hennessy and gin. You showed up to show why you best annoy Miss Reed. Hey, Miss Fifi. Tell my son, I wish I had some turnip greens. Or Girl, don't even say it, Miss Fifi. You don't make, I don't forgot all about the child child. The child, child. I don't forgot all about the child child. What's up, Gwen? Groovy, boo. A, a yes, tell you, child. Don't listen. Don't make me blush now. Don't make me flush. Hey, Doreen. What's up, Miss Marsha Bull? How y'all doing today? I'm happy to see y'all. Hopefully, ain't nobody else came. Oh, here go um, Blank Blanket. Hey, Blank Blanket. Hello. I miss you. Where you at? Okay. Are you going to show us the Thanksgiving show, cooking show? Um, I do. Hey, Camp Carmen. I do have plans on Sunday dinner. I mean, um, Thanksgiving dinner and stuff like that yes i do um what i'm cooking i don't know when i'm doing it i don't know is I, am i gonna break it up into different parts i've been thinking about it am i gonna do a whole live like i did last year i don't know okay i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna do it because in my mind i really have been wanting to pre-cook stuff you know what i'm saying like i told y'all Okay, you better know it, Miss Claria Boo. Tiana gonna call Nick Von Enemy. Girl, you better, girl. Okay. You better call me Nick Von, honey. Okay, honey. Listen, I uh, listen, y'all. I'll be over here. I'll be like, child. I'll be telling my husband. I'll be like, I don't know. On tur turkey and dress, okay. Bless y'all. <laughs> I don't. No, I ain't gonna do no fried turkey because let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to you in a minute, baby. But let me tell you why I ain't doing fried turkey because my family they don't care for turkey like that. So if I do turkey, I just do the turkey wings just for somebody. If they want some turkey, then they'll get them a little turkey wing and go on about their business. That's it. You know, I ain't gotta worry about doing a whole turkey. So no, I'm not doing a whole to turkey, and no, I'm not doing a whole ham. But I'ma do a ham my way. I'ma show y'all my. I done showed y'all already, but we doing the ham my way because like I told y'all, after that time that I did the ham like that, I am not going back to making a ham the way that everybody else make hams okay it's gonna be Tion I gonna be me wait okay hey Tanya but back to you um big baby so I be laying up there talk to my husband I'm like babe I don't know what I'm gonna look like when I get a small child I ain't never been small y'all I just been I have just been um enjoying the thought 
of me getting down to a smaller size y'all i really have and it's kind of rushy too i ain't gonna tell no lie it's kind of rushy but at the same time i'm gonna tell you the main thing i've really been nervous about you don't like turkey too much either you do turkey wings and eggs only yeah so like and then they they say they don't like turkey they think turkey dry but honey like i told them my turkey don't be dry i don't know why they don't like turkey honey whoever messed them up i, I hate they did you know For the holidays, um, for the holidays, I had already said that I'm taking me a whole break, honey. Mm-hmm, sure, Liz. I'm taking me a whole break, but at the same time, I don't know. Because good as I've been doing, I might take a break, but I might not. I, 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 I'm going to take a break, but I'm still not going to. I'm still not going to. I'm going to try not to overdo it, okay? So... Yeah, I'm going to be on my little break. Yeah, I'm going to be on my little, that's going to, remember I told y'all, that's going to be our cheat time, right? Okay, so around that time, that's going to be our cheat time. And, honey, listen, I ain't finna uh, be cooking all this stuff and I, uh, excuse me, uh, can you slide to the side for a second, uh, calories, and let me, listen. I'm trying to say, listen, I ain't finna, listen, y'all, I ain't finna even do myself like that. You know what I'm saying? I be, let me tell you something. I'm a real nigga, real nigga. I ain't finna sit there and lie. I'm not finna sit here and pretend like I'm gonna be over here on goddamn celery and apples and shit on Thanksgiving. I be lying to y'all. Uh-uh. I'm eating me some of the food too, okay? But if you decide to do the same thing, y'all need y'all eat it in moderation. Do however you want to do. If you gain the pounds back, oh well, okay? It don't matter because at the end of the day, it's you that got to put in the work, not nobody else. So that's why I try to tell you, yeah, I'm going to cheat. But I got to put in that extra work to get it off. So I don't know if I'm going to, um, you know, be, 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 you know, just really just indulging, indulging like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can't, can't, I can't listen. Listen, I gave myself cheat days, right? My cheat days, y'all, is Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays is my cheat days. So... I ain't trying to, I ain't, on my cheat days, I ain't trying to be going all out like that. Yeah, I eat what I want, but at the same time, I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to be going all out like that. Because, honey, I told y'all, that road of 333 pounds that I came from, honey, and now, the last time we checked, I was down to 310. Them 333, honey, can uh, kiss me goodbye, honey, because I ain't trying to go back to them. You know what I'm saying? I feel good, and, I, and, I, and I'm and i looking a little better. You know, I look at myself every now and then and be like, ooh, child, you look funny. I'm going to thank that. But, you know, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to go back there, y'all. I'm not trying to go back there. I like, well, I ain't, it ain't too much of a big difference, but it's a, it's a difference to me. So, I ain't trying to go back down that road. Uh-uh. I'm trying to keep going down. If I go up, I ain't trying to go up number about two or three pounds. Something that ain't going to take me but number about two or three days to get off. And that's it. I ain't, uh-uh. No, 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 no. No. Okay. All right, y'all. What's up, Mama Ray Ray? What's up, Uncle Steve? Thank you, boo. You clean your chitlins. You can see it through them. You can see through them. Yes, honey. You got to clean them chitlins. Every now and then, exactly, Bella. You got to give your diet is a lifestyle. Don't do anything you can't keep doing. Exactly, uh, Uncle Steve. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say that I want to get like I was telling my husband last night. My husband, when I got home, y'all, my husband, he got on to me. I ain't gonna tell no lie. Hey, Lee. Hey, hey, what? My girl, Bougie Boo. Hey, what's up, Bougie Boo? Bougie Boo, up. Hold on, y'all. I gotta get this stuff on. Wait a minute, y'all. Listen. Got my pot right here. Hold on. We got to try to get started because y'all going to have me. We, this ain't no chit chat. This is not no chit chat. So y'all don't be trying to uh, chit chat me to death today. Okay. Hold on. Let me uh get my stuff together in this pot and all that. Hold on. Get my stuff together real quick. Let me get started first, then I can talk to y'all. I can't be talking right now. Hold on. But what's up, Booch Boo? Good to see you, sugar girl. Good to see you, sugar sugar. Listen, y'all, in my pot. I'm just finna come. I'm finna um throw me some of these ham pieces down in here, and that's just for seasoning. Whoever wanna eat it, they can eat it, but. 
Listen, y'all, I ain't got no cabbage cut up. I ain't got no green. I ain't got no, um, I ain't got, I ain't got no meat washed off, no nothing. So y'all gonna get comfortable, honey. I'm just going to tell you, we got a goal right now. We're going to go and set a goal for 100 doorbell rings. Y'all going to help your sister out, okay? Your sugar boo. Welcome to all the new viewers that is here. I am Tiana. I can only be me. I'm doing a cooking blog. I do not do cooking shows where everything is orderly, cut up, and all that stuff. Uh-uh, that ain't what you're going to get over here, okay? What you're going to get is regular home cooking, just like you were cooking your house. You got other things that you got to do while you're cooking. That's what I do, okay? So... Go on, get comfortable. Kick your shoes off. Tell your children to sit their ass down somewhere. Honey, you watching your favorite show. Okay? And and send them on to their room somewhere so they don't be disturbing you. Because you finna learn how to cook you some cabbage, baked chicken, yellow rice, and some um homemade fried cornbread by my mom. Alright, so I got me some ham pieces. Or you could use bacon. It don't matter. But we got some ham. We just gonna throw this in here. So I got me some ham. I'm just finna get this on the stove. Let it get to cook. Just boiling. You really ain't got to really for real for real like try to boil it until it get tender because y'all already know ham is already done. Only thing this ham finna do is give out some flavor. So first of all, welcome um Yanni Barney. Welcome sugar. Y'all welcome Yanni Bunny. Anybody coming here, y'all please welcome them to the family like y'all always do. I'm just gonna go ahead on and tell y'all now. Welcome to the family. I'm happy to have y'all. And if you would please become a sugar boo. How you become a sugar boo is you gonna ring the doorbell when i say ring the no hold on first of all you become a sugar boo by hitting the the, the subscribe button right all right so then when you become a uh um uh, uh, you and every time you become that sugar boo i mean whenever you become that sugar boo right you got to ring the doorbell every time you come over here right to my channel i don't give a good thing i don't care if we in the store whatever ring the doorbell okay because listen that show that you ain't trespassed, and that means that you was a real loyal sugar boo, okay? And in order for you to become a all the time sugar boo, do you know what to do? Anybody in the comments can tell them what they got to do to become a all the time sugar boo. All the time sugar boo. Yeah, that means that I don't want you to be coming over here being no part time sugar boo, okay? You're going to be an all the time sugar boo. So in order to become an all the time sugar boo, you got the, um, hit the notification bell okay the notification bell what it gonna do is gonna notify you every time i upload a video and every time i come live so make sure you set your notification bell to all okay set it to all it's gonna ask you how you want it set set it to all hey everybody hey all right so Alright, so now I got that going, got my pot lid washed off. And I want this on the back eye. So I'm gonna put that back there, then we're gonna go over here to the sink. Before I actually get with the chicken, I'm gonna cut this cabbage up because I only got one side of the sink. So and we on and, and her my kitchen is small and hers is small to mine. So hey y'all, we ain't got much space to work with, but we're gonna get it done, okay? Alright, so y'all excuse the fan. Excuse the fan. I'm turning the fan on over the stove. All right. All right. So now we about to get to cutting up this cabbage, y'all. Listen, cabbage ain't got to be cut up all extra small and just doing the most with it, y'all. It ain't got to be all like that. Child, come with my own. Own season is okay. Make sure I have what I want. Mom, well, you gonna do the fried cornbread for him? Ma, I told him you gonna do the fried cornbread. Ma, come on now. Mama over here trying to back out y'all. Y'all, mama is backing out. I told him that you, you don't feel good, but I told him that you feel better. Now, you did say that. Look, now she's trying to play sick over here, y'all. So, 
So I'm finna try to get this cabbage cut up for y'all real quick, like. think y'all gonna be able to see me but i might have to switch sides so y'all can hold on we might gonna have to keep switching from one side to the other y'all hold up y'all okay i'm gonna cut the cat So to cut up the cabbage, this is what I do, y'all. I ain't gonna do them small, honey, because ain't nobody got time for that. You can cut them up small if you want to. The cut is not gonna change the taste, okay? Only thing that that's gonna change the taste is if you didn't season them right. Alrighty, so basically, first of all, what you're going to do is, you're going to cut that bottom off, just like that. Then you're going to take your cabbage, you're going to cut it straight down the middle, like that. You're going to peel the bad outside layers off. You do that before, y'all, but honey, listen, I pretty much had already did that at the stove, okay? Because I don't pay for nothing that I ain't cooking, okay? Then you're gonna take the, see now you can see your core right there. So you're gonna cut that core out. And the way you cut that core out is you're gonna come down. You're gonna come down like that, almost just like a triangle to core it out. And then it just pop right out of there. Sometimes you can just cut right up under the knees of it and it'll pop right out. Okay, so now, some people like to just cut their cabbage in thin shreds like that. I'm not going to be doing all that. That's just too much work. I'm not going to do that. So what we finna do is going to take the cabbage, cut it down the middle, and cut that about three, four times. Depends on how big your cabbage is. And that's what, how we cutting up this cabbage. So now you got pieces that's like this. Okay? And that's how you cut up a cabbage. Simple and easy. Very, very, very simple, y'all. None hard to it. Like I say, the cut is not going to change the taste. The only thing going to change the taste is how you season it. Oh, I turned the wrong eye off. Okay. Just like that. And that's another way you can cut the, the core out, just like I did. Just cut it down the middle, cut it 
cut you can cut that make it a smaller piece if you want to you hold it like this cut at an angle and then you can cut it right out Hey, Ariel. Hey, yo, the yo, he right now. The camera fell on the floor. Once again. Do the same thing again here. Go. What am I cooking for those of you that's coming in? Baked chicken, cabbage, yellow rice, fried cornbread. And that's it. Made me feel like I want to taste something else. This meal so small. Is this a cooking show? No, for those of you that's coming in, it's not a cooking show. It's a cooking vlog, okay? So with it being a cooking vlog, I do not do my videos like everybody else do theirs, okay? Y'all listen. Y'all come over here, have a good time. Put your children in the room, like I said. And y'all just enjoy me and learn how that I cook, how I cook this good old southern meal, okay? Hold on one second. Buffering because I'm on this side. Washing the cabbage. Hey y'all, I'm washing the cabbage over here. We're gonna buff a little bit for those of y'all that's here. I think we might be buffing a little bit today so y'all don't go nowhere unless I have to start a part to this to this live. And if I do, moderators, will y'all please come back to this live to let them know that I started a part two, okay y'all? But y'all don't go nowhere, y'all just hang in here with me. I ain't nothing I can do about buffering if we buffer, but when I can hit the button to come back, I'm coming back y'all, okay? So, we just gonna pray that we don't get no more buffering because we need a good video today. Alright? We got a goal of 100 doorbell rings. Hey, Miss Lynette, we got a goal of 100 doorbell rings. So, y'all help me get there if y'all don't mind. If y'all wondering what the doorbell is, the doorbell is the thumbs up the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time for your girl. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Hey! Ring the doorbell. 
That's all I ask you to do. Is put a ding on the dome and ring the dough. Put this bone with your salt. Put a ding on the dough and ring the doorbell. Give me some salt. Put it on the cabbage. The salt is going to help clean them of any, if it was worms or any kind of bugs on them or anything like that. So we're going to put that salt on them and let them soak for just like half a second. We're going we're gonna, to um, give them a good little like this right here. You know how y'all wash greens and stuff? And you, of course, you can pull them apart if you want to and all the goodness, all that good stuff right there. Make sure y'all in front. Hopefully y'all can see me pretty good at what I'm doing. I gotta have y'all over there. I can't keep moving y'all and get the spots. But basically, I'm just pulling apart some of these cabbages, like the big hump pieces, especially the white ones that come out the center. Like these big ones, the thick knot ones like that, I pull those apart. dirty like that basically what you'll be doing is trying to wash them you know to get the little grit off of them that they do have get the nasty hands that done touch them off of it and um um just in case it got worms or something like that you wanna want them to fall off of them too okay so hold on one second And if y'all ain't never cooked cabbages before, like if you cook them for a small crowd, like maybe three of y'all or four, like a small cabbage is good for three to four people. If you cook it more than, for more than three to four people, sound like you cook it for about five, six, and they ain't gonna be eating a lot like that, then you could do two cabbages. That's how you do it because cabbages, They cook down like this bowl right here. If when if you was when I cook these cabbages down, the bowl wouldn't even be overflowing like this. Once we cook cabbage, so it cooks down and shrinks a lot, y'all. For those of you that don't know. So we're gonna go one more time in the water. These cabbages, they're gonna go down here one more time in just plain water, and we're just gonna wash these out. 
they, we already rinsed them one time, but we just, they're going in the plain water now. So I can rinse the extra salt and those cases, a little dirt on them or something like, a little bit more dirt or something. You know, just, just be, be clean with your food, y'all. Just be clean, that's all I'm saying. If, 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 if you don't want to do all this, then that's on you. If you want to eat grit and all that stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to show you the way that I do it. I ain't trying to make you do it my way because people cook different. You know what I'm saying? So you do it the way that you want to do it. You got room in your sink and you can use both sides of your sink, then that's what you do. Use both sides of the sink. But I'm just rinsing these one more time. One more time, Lord. One more time. One more time, Lord. One more time. To be in the service is one more time. All right, y'all. So I'm getting these on up out of here. I gotta keep checking on y'all, make sure y'all ain't muffin over there. So now, we're gonna take these little bit that we got right here. And normally, I like a fried cabbage, but this pot, y'all, honestly, it ain't even got enough water in it. See, cabbages make water on their own, y'all. Sorry for the steam. I'm gonna turn the fan up a little bit. Excuse the fan, y'all. I told y'all, please excuse the fan. Don't. Please don't let it aggravate you. I got the fan on over the stove. But I have just bought a half a cup of water down. No, that's about a cup. I'm lying by half a cup. That's about a cup of water, y'all. So we're going to have us some cabbages today swimming in water, which normally like I don't like to have them, but it's okay. Um, we're going to take these cabbages. We're going to put them down in there. And for those of you that don't know, cabbages make more water on their own. We have a goal of 100 doorbell rings. Thank y'all for ringing the doorbell. But for those of you that came in here and you know that you one of the ones that did not ring the doorbell, when I say ring the doorbell, I mean hit the thumbs up, the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time for your girl so you can help me spread around this YouTube, okay, y'all? And also, let your family members know about me, your friends, your co-workers, your whoever, your boo, okay? Let them know about my child. Share me on all your social media and stuff like that if y'all don't mind, honey. I don't care if you want meet and greet and Black Planet and, and, and Christian Mingo and all that stuff like that, honey. Share me over there if you can, okay? All right. Because, listen... When they get up, when they when they do find them somebody, right, they going to need some good recipes to cook for them. So that's why I said y'all going to share me on your love, you know, your stuff like that. All right. So if you came in here and, 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 and you liking what you see and stuff, I ask that you become a sugar boo. When I say become a sugar boo, that means that I ask that you subscribe to my channel. Please, if y'all don't mind, just hit the red button. You might not see it because we is in a live chat right now. So if you was to hit the X to the right, you gonna the comments is gonna go away, but you're gonna be able to get back in here. I just want y'all, for those of you that didn't ring the doorbell, go on ring the doorbell. For those of you that want to subscribe, go on subscribe. Okay, and another thing, in order for you to become a all the time sugar boo honey, there's only one last thing that you must do only thing i ask you to do is set your notification bell to all you first of all you want the notifications from it right okay so you got to make sure that you set it to all so you will get all my notifications and whenever i come live and you won't miss out on me unless youtube mess up and do something and they ain't on me y'all that's on youtube but with, all, with that being said, that's how you become an all the time sugar boo. That's how you become a sugar boo. And that's how you get the notifications for being a sugar boo. And hold on, let me see. Rain the doorbell, subscribe. And uh, 
notification bell. So we covered everything, y'all. We covered everything. All right, so I got, I done got halfway. I'm finna go. So listen, it don't matter if you put the seed. I hate when people be like, I'm finna go and start seasoning the layers. They need to quit with, with that, y'all. Y'all stop listening to people when they be talking. Yes, you can season in layers, but you can't season no layers of stuff that's in the pot, in no, in no, in no uh, pot. Talking about they seasoning their cabbages and stuff in layers. No, y'all, don't be listening to that. Talking about seasoning in layers. You cannot season no cabbage in layers. When all this get mixed together, everything gonna be incorporated together. So what layers did you season? All right. So we finna just go ahead on and throw our seasonings in the pot, okay? Instead of seasoning layers i'm putting it in the middle because it's closer to the bottom and i ain't got to be trying to you know putting out my seasoning on top and sit the lid on top of it not all the seasoning is on the lid okay so now we're gonna start seasoning these cabbages so i'm gonna take some onion powder listen season to your own taste i'm just showing you what to do and you do the rest okay that's all i'm telling you use my seasonings that i'm telling you and your food is gonna be good okay so that's onion powder now we're going to take us some garlic powder. Just a little bit. You don't want them to be tasting like garlic cabbage unless that's what you want. But just throw your little garlic in there. And it don't take much or nothing, y'all. It don't take too many seasonings. Some people just overdo it. Like, you don't need all, you don't need all that stuff, y'all. Okay? So now, we're going to go in with a little soul seasoning, y'all. Because soul seasoning is some good behind seasoning. I don't know who, if y'all ain't never tried it before, honey. But if you could get your hands on some soul seasoning, y'all. Get you some, cause this some good behind shy honey. Okay, I'm telling y'all about this right now until I get my seasoning going, okay? But yeah, y'all. But yeah, we're gonna put us a little of that in there. We don't want to be salty cause we got other stuff to put in there. Your herbs and stuff, you can put as much as you want. Ain't nobody trying to tell you what to do with your stuff. Do what you want to do, okay? Then, for a little bit more flavor, right? I got some ham seasoning, y'all, okay? So, I'm gonna throw me some ham seasoning in there. Just a little bit because that's salty too, so you don't want to put too much, okay? Then, oh, okay. So then, now I'm finna go in with me just a little celery salt. Listen, y'all, a lot of these seasonings have salt in it, so that's why I say you got to be light with it. But I love, when I tell you I love celery salt in my cabbages, y'all, listen, try it, okay? If you want the ones that like celery, if you could find regular celery seed, that'll be even better, but I, I, don't, I ain't got none, okay? So I'm using celery salt. Then, hold on, then one more thing, y'all. I know I say people be extra, but y'all already know. I'm already extra anyway, okay? So then we're gonna take us just a little razzle dazzle of this chicken base seasoning, just for the flavor, y'all. Just for the flavor. Now we just gonna throw that on in there, just like so. And the last thing, that I like to add to my cabbages, y'all, is just a little pinch of sugar. And the reason why I like to add that little pinch of sugar is sometimes cabbages don't, you know, they just don't. You know how when you have to add a little pinch of sugar to green, sometimes, okay, cabbages be the same way. So I add you just a little pinch and just like a little teaspoon of it. That's all it takes. You ain't trying to make it sweet. You just. It's almost like, to me, it's almost like to bring back um, the natural sweetness to the cabbage. Because if you find a good cabbage, y'all, I'm telling you, you don't even have to add no salt, sugar to it. Like, sometimes you could buy cabbage, y'all, and that cabbage be, oh my goodness, the cabbage have so much of a, a sweet taste to it, y'all. It's amazing. But I'm adding some sugar to it. I know I ain't even tasting the seed, but honey, it's going to be all right either way it go, okay? Thank y'all for ringing the doorbell. We need um about nine more, y'all. And then I'll be done reach my goal, right? And then we'll be done made it. We're going to um have a performance. But before we do that, hold on one more thing, y'all. All right. So, also another thing you need to the cabbage, I forgot to tell y'all, but get you some cooking grease. I don't care if you ain't saved, you know, old grease, some fish, some fish, I mean, not fish, sorry, y'all. Some chicken, pork chop, chicken nuggets, chicken tender, chicken, chicken patty, uh, grease, right? 
all that you done fried up in that grease. Okay, so now them seasonings and that meat done flavor that grease right. So you use you some old grease, baby, or some old bacon grease or whatever it is, y'all. Okay, and you gonna add you some of that right there to your um greens y'all okay it don't really take that much you can use fresh grease you can use butter if you want a child okay use what you want to use ain't nobody trying to tell you what to do just throw you some in there because they're gonna be good for the cabbage child okay all right so now we're gonna get the rest of the cabbages on in here like so and then as they cook down we're gonna so somebody I don't know what time it is, but somebody, if anybody want to know how long to cook cabbages, let me tell you something. If y'all going to time this, cut at least, um, if you're going to time me cooking this, cut at least, uh, eight minutes off because I don't want y'all to cook it and then it's overcooked. So however long that y'all time that I'm cooking these cabbages and stuff, I need for y'all to cut off at least eight minutes because and taste your own that way you'll see if it's where you want it because i don't want i don't want y'all to overcook the cabbage and i don't want you to undercook the cabbage some people like their cabbage crunchy but i i i don't like it crunchy at all i like for it to not be overly done but i like for them to have like that little it still tastes like cabbage it don't taste like a mush you know what i'm saying like cabbages can get like that y'all you ain't careful okay so now i got the cabbages on in the pot All right, so now I'm gonna just get the lid on that and let it go for what it normal. Turn it down on the medium because I don't want to get ahead of me, cook too fast. I want everything, you know. I, I just, it, it, I'm not finna babysit this pot is what I'm saying. So I cut it down on medium. So all my, it's gonna collect more water because cabbage make water. So you can cook your cabbage with water or without any water at all, y'all. Okay. All right. So. Yeah, don't be brown. You don't want them brown because they're turn. That's how they'll get. All right, y'all. So now we finna get on over here. What we finna do next? All right. So we gonna um. Let's wash this rice real quick. How about that? So I got some white rice. I don't wanna be, you know, having to get over here in my sink when I'm done because I'm doing my chicken next, y'all. So that's why I'm trying to get everything out of the way so I can just have the sink to itself for the chicken. Alright, so basically what we're gonna do is hold on y'all. So to wash white rice, white parboiled rice, long grain rice, I mean not parboiled, but white rice, long grain, and rich rice, 
short grain, long grain, don't matter. Just white rice, as long as it's not parboiled. If y'all don't know how to cook rice, let me tell you something. I love me some parboiled rice, y'all. Parboiled rice is the bomb. Okay, listen, and the easiest rice. You can't mess up parboiled rice. It ain't gonna be mushy unless you just overcook it or don't or put too much water in it or something. But you need to try cabbage. Oh, baby, you didn't try to try. I love soup and women. Listen, in cabbage soup, they say will make you lose weight too, Miss Fifi Child. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take some of this white rice. I'm gonna put it in the pan. Just pull on some, y'all, because I'm cooking for a crowd, so you follow what y'all say, and I'm, I'm, I'm just pulling me some, okay? I'll just pull to it, look like enough. All right, so now you got your rice in the bowl. You can also do this in a big strainer if you have it, y'all. Um, you know, the, the wide strainer with the small itty bitty holes in it, okay? You can pull your rice in that and just put it up under the water, and the sink can just run until it run clear. But since we ain't got that, what I'm going to have to do is keep filling my bowl up, wash it and scrub it, pull the water off and keep doing it until it runs clear. So that's what y'all finna see me do now. Hold on, did we make it? 97. So by the time I wash this uh, rice, we should be at 100 doorbell rings. If y'all don't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell is a thumbs up and like my Please hit it one time for the one time for you, girl. If you don't mind, right, getting the doorbell for you, girl, one more time. Hey, you better. Y'all see how milky that is? Okay, it ain't gonna look like that when I'm done. Now y'all see the difference in the water, how much clearer it is, that's how you want it. Okay, so now let's get the water going for it.
I'll get my chicken down in the water, y'all. I got me some leg portals. So to my water with the chicken, what I'm going to add is some salt and Mom, where you been? Like, you ain't got none? Okay. going to add some salt and vinegar to the water to clean the chicken, y'all. Any kind of vinegar, white vinegar, um, apple cider vinegar, whatever kind of vinegar that is it, that it is that you want to use. Gonna do the rice. It works good on this side, y'all. I really hate. Hold on, y'all. I really hate to change y'all. So I'm not gonna change y'all from this side to that side over there because we was buffering over there and I ain't buffering over here. So we gonna. I'm gonna hold on, y'all. I'm gonna get y'all in there in the light swim up real quick. All right. So what we finna do is cut up this onion. Right. Okay. So what we Basically, you're going to need your pot with some water. Put as much water as the say that you need for your rice, okay? We're going to make a seasoned um, yellow rice. So I'm going to put under the amount in my pot because I don't want my rice to um, be mushy. I hate mushy, sticky rice, y'all. Like that rice I cooked last week, it was good, but I still just don't like mushy rice. I just had too much water in it. Okay, y'all, so we're going to cut this bell onion up. If you want to add some bell pepper, green onion, whatever, it's on you. You do what you want to do with your stuff, okay? Because it's yours. And you season how you like to season. Just because I do stuff one way don't mean that, you know, you have to do it exactly the way that I do it, okay? Because that's the beauty in cooking. You can do what you want to do. You can experiment. You can have fun with your food. It don't have to taste like everybody else's food. So have fun with your food. Try different seasonings, try different recipes, try different herbs, try different kind of stuff, y'all. So, I'm going to cut this onion up like so. And then I'm going to dice it down small. Okay, so now, this onion is going... back there in my pot.
All right, so now we got that. Okay, so now in the pot, Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Uh oh, hold on, y'all. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. One time for the one time you eat the omelet watching me cook, girl. What's up, cat? sugar and it, hey right y'all welcome right i think that's how you said right R Y. y'all welcome right to the family hey miss ella hey um hey uh c-sex what's up boo thank you sugar um who else i think that's it all right if there's anybody else hey so, hey miss michelle what i'm making i'm making some baked chicken some cabbages, seasoned rice, and fried cornbread. Whole cake said that. Hey, Keegan Boo. Welcome to the family. Hey, Lisa. Welcome to. Hey, Carlotta. Hey, that. Oh, oh, really? Oh, well, how you doing? But, uh, you got to go. Okay. Yeah, got to go. Uh huh. All right. So, hey, y'all. All right, y'all. So, we finna go ahead on and season up the rice. But before we do, y'all know we got a special guest coming to the stage. If y'all don't know who she is, you will know by the tone. She ain't got no socks on today, so I don't know how well her performance gonna turn out today. Hold on, y'all. Let me show y'all something real quick. Y'all see these cabbages? Look how they don't cook down. Few more minutes and they'll be done. See, that's why I turned them down on medium because this is a fast cooking pot. And if you don't keep a eye uh, uh, on them, you know what I'm saying? You'll be done overcook your cabbages. And that ain't what I'm trying to do. Okay. All right. We made it. We made it. We made it to 100. Do, do. Oh, we made it, do, oh, we made it, do, we made it to a hundred, do, do, we made it, do, we made it, do, we made it to a hundred, do, do, oh, we made it, do, we made it, do, we made it to a hundred and seven eighteen. We made it to 118. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> I made your week, Keegan. That's what's up. Hey, Lady Lightly Boo. All right, y'all. So come on, y'all. Let's season up this uh right this water for this rice. Ma'am. I did. Right? My shoes. I kicked them off. Oh, yeah. Hey, Alright y'all, so to this pot, y'all might be a little crooked, I'm sorry. Alright, the water boiling already, look it up. I told y'all that's some fast cooking pots. Hopefully y'all ain't steaming up and nothing like that. Okay, so to our water for the rice, this is what we about to do. Alright, we about to make us some um, seasoned yellow rice. So I got onions in there. You can put some bell pepper if you want. It's up to you. Do what you want to do. It's your stuff. And if I try to tell you what to do with your stuff. Come on, you got some parsley? I'm looking for mama parsley, y'all. Hold on one second. She probably ain't got none. But if she don't, y'all know how we like to use, honey, all the stuff to make up for the parsley. So we ain't gonna worry about Parsley, Miss Parsley, cause Miss Parsley is probably hiding. 
episode to a uh, substitute for parsley, we're going to use Miss Basil, y'all, okay? Honey, Miss Basil going to do the job, okay? So, all right. So, what we're going to do is, in this water, we're going to add us uh, some chicken base, chicken broth seasoning. That's for that good chickeny flavor. Don't put too much, y'all, because this here, here, here is salty, okay? Then, go and throw you some, um, you're going to want you some of this Sazon, Sazon Tropical. This right here is good for yellow rice, soups, and stews, y'all, okay? So, we're going to take out some of this. Yes, it's orange when you first put it in here, but it's going to make your rice yellow, okay? So, we're going to put us a good amount of that up in there because, honey, we want us some yellow, yellow rice, honey. We don't want to look like that we supposed to have yellow rice. It looked like yellow rice, but I think she threw some turmeric or something in there kind of rice. Uh-uh. So, we're going to put that in now. Then we're gonna put us um just a little bit of onion powder. I know we got onions, but onions and onion powder, honey, they bring different their own flavors, okay? Onion powder sometimes is a little stronger than onions, okay? So now we're gonna go with us a little basil because we ain't got no parsley. But if you got parsley, you can put parsley. But since I'm using basil, you might want to see what it tastes like with basil in it, then put you some basil, okay? So I'm gonna take about a little a teaspoon of basil and throw it off up in there and then we're going to take us we're going to take us some cooking grease y'all i like to use cooking grease in my rice y'all i don't know about y'all but to me cooking grease it's, it's, it's a whole lot lighter, if you ask me, in rice. Like, sometimes when you put butter and stuff like that in your rice, it, it change up the texture. It change, it, it just it just makes its own changes to the rice, y'all. And I don't like to use butter all the time. Yes, I would use butter and oil, but I make my preference, for real, for real, is, is oil. I ain't saying I won't use butter, but I prefer oil, y'all. Okay, so now we're going to take us this rice and get it on down in this pot and y'all probably see me using the same spoon for everything y'all that's gonna be on top of the stove because i ain't trying to scratch up my mama brand new pot i just pulled out the, the box for her today okay so we're gonna be using this right here until she can get us to get her some um wooden spoons and plastic spoons or whatever for her pots Honey, the spoon is not gonna change the taste of the food, okay? All right, so now we got that right there going just like that right there. And I feel like I want me some more rice in there, y'all, because I got a little bit more water than rice. So let's go and put that lid on there. Turn it down on medium, because when the water start boiling on your rice, you wanna start, and you get your rice in there, you wanna turn it down to medium and let it do what it do. But let me get me a little bit more rice over here, y'all. Because, honey, I'm not gonna have no much rice today. Hold on, y'all. 
gonna get the rest of this rice, fold in a pot right here real quick. Y'all look at that. Oh yeah, that's perfect now. Y'all look at that. So now, I'm about to take the black pepper and I'm putting some black pepper in there. I didn't put the black pepper in there at first with it, y'all, because black pepper, when you boil it, it be having you sneezing and stuff. So I wait till I put whatever I'm putting in there and then I add the black pepper. But this black pepper, honey, Anybody got time for all that shaking? All right. And now y'all, this rice gonna be, let me taste it for the salt. Make sure it's just like I want it. So now we about to do the chicken, y'all. We got the rice right here on medium. Okay. Hey, Ezra. All right, y'all. So let me see if I could get y'all over here. Sorry, y'all, for all the turning and stuff. Chicken is right here, y'all. Sit that right there for a second. Look, when you're working with small spaces, honey, you gotta make different arrangements. Okay. All right. So now, on to the chicken. Oh, the bowl in the way. That's what it is. Okay. All right. So now, chicken. So basically, what I'm finna do is I'm finna clean the chicken up, get all the nasty and all that stuff out of it, and all that. And then I'm not even gonna cut these down because nine times out of ten, two people gonna get two pieces of chicken chai. So I'm gonna make it easier for myself. Hey, all 215 of y'all. Hey, sugar. Okay. First of all, let me go on and say welcome, chai, to the family. All of y'all. If you was new over here, I am your girl. Tiana, I can only be me, honey. Okay. Listen, over here we do cooking vlogs, not cooking shows. Okay. The cooking vlog. Okay. The cooking vlog is. The cooking vlog is just like how you cook at home. I ain't cutting nothing out of there. I ain't finna not let y'all see nothing. Because how I wash this and clean and cook and, and wipe down and sweep and mop and all that stuff at the same time. Okay. Same thing y'all gonna get on camera. Alright. So, but y'all still gonna get the good food and everything. Just take a little longer. Okay. Why I gotta be the one off camera washing dishes and sweeping and mopping and all that stuff. And, and y'all done sat back and watched the good meal and ain't gotta help, honey. Okay. So. What we finna do, we finna wash the chicken, and I'm finna show y'all how I clean the chicken, and I'm not finna cut up the chicken, or nothing like that. We're gonna season the chicken, we're gonna get the chicken on in the oven, I'm finna turn my oven on 375 right now. 375 right now. Let's make it, let's, let's go and make it an even 400, how about that? Hey, sissy boo. Okay, then, um, Steve.
Thank you, JoJo. Now, I guess that's what brought you over here because I sucked your ass right on in, Dinner. All right, so come on, y'all. Let's get to the chicken. All right, so. What I'm going to do is. Okay. See the chicken leg quarter, right? Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to dig on the back side, right? You're going to dig, going to take your finger, honey. It ain't, listen, use your hands, dangle glove, y'all, okay? Ain't nobody got time for all that, wasting gloves. You need gloves for better things nowadays, okay? So, you're going to take your finger, you're going to dig all that little nastiness, pop it right out the little, up in there, in that thigh part, and pull it out, just like that, and then this is what you get. Eww! I know. Right, I know. So get you something, put it in. All right. Now that you did that, it's all clean up in there. You see that? All clean up in there. Ain't nothing in there. Okay. So now, you see how I be having all this extra fat and stuff hanging all off the sides and all that? We don't need all that, honey. See, listen. That's why I'm on. That's why I'm on the lifestyle change right now. See, I, I, I can, I can, you know. I can I can I can understand what what this chicken going through right now. You know, with all this extra fat all hanging all off the sides and all that stuff. I know, child, honey. That's what happens when you have extra minutes. Okay, but it bring more flavor to you. All right, y'all be wondering why I'm so bubbly, honey. It's all this flavor I got over here, child. Okay, so we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it right there. All right. So now you are gonna go right here and then you are gonna just cut you this fat off just i mean you ain't got to cut all of it y'all fat is flavor okay listen just because i'm trying to make a lifestyle change that don't mean that you got to okay you can pull the skin off if you want to but i'm not gonna do all that i'm not gonna do that i could pull the skin off when it's done okay and i ain't got to be tugging with it all right so we're gonna put that on over there to the side that one clean that's how you clean chicken y'all so now i'm gonna get the rest of these here cleaned up real quick y'all Ain't gonna take me no time, honey, because I've been cleaning the chicken ever since I was about eight, nine years old. So, honey, these little leg quarters, these little bit right here, ain't nothing. Y'all just wait till I get ready to do this bulk size haul that I'm gonna have coming for y'all eventually. Whenever, honey, they put some stuff on sale. Y'all gonna see how your girl really get down in the kitchen. For those of you that don't know how I really get down and clean this meat and separate it and portion it and all that stuff for my family. Okay? But, to all 223 of y'all, only thing I want to ask y'all to do is, we got a goal. I'm setting another goal of 200. Yes, why not? Because, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm lovable like that. And I know y'all going to help your girl get me, get help me get to 200 doorbell rings. If you don't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell is thumbs up the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time for your girl, if you don't mind. Okay? And while you over there doing that, honey, don't just go out there and be wasting your little twiddle fingers, honey. Just go on and and kill three birds with one stone okay honey yes whatever kind of bird it is you like child okay but the bird i'm talking about right about now is i need for you to um hit that subscribe button yes that's how you become a sugar boo over here on my channel with my family members yes y'all we is sugar that's my sugar boos i'm they sugar boo and and y'all could be my sugar boo too if y'all come on and join the family so i ask that you just come on and join my family over here on the channel and by hitting the subscribe button, being my sugar boo and they sugar boo cousin, auntie, cousin, sister, however they want to call you. Okay, we as family over here, we get along with one another in the chat. There is no drum over here on my channel. Y'all might see drama come in and out, but that's not welcome. If I can catch it, I get it. But if I don't, it is what it is. We just overlook them because, honey, guess what? We need them haters, okay? We need them, so we ain't gonna worry about them, honey. They ain't finna stop no show, did, did, okay? I better not let them stop a show. So we don't, we ain't gonna worry about them haters. They come through looking like a damn fool and try to talk about somebody. Just let them look like the fool that they is. Because guess what? If don't nobody pay them no attention, then who they talking to, child? Okay. Who they talking to? They sure ain't talking to me. You know. All right, so... Also, with all that being said, now I need you to for need you to go over and um hit that 
notification bell. Why you gonna subscribe and not hit the notification bell? You don't wanna do that because if I come live or if I upload a video, you ain't gonna never know because YouTube might not tell you. So if you go ahead on and hit that notification bell, then you'll be notified each and every time. I come live or upload a video. But y'all, hold on. I got to check this rice because I didn't put much water in there. So. Let, me, let me throw me a little more water in my pot. I, just a little bit because I, I overly added rice so I could do it like I want it real quick. I'm only adding just a little. Listen, y'all, I'm not telling y'all to do this. No, I'm not. I'm not telling y'all to add water to y'all rice. I just know that I over added rice, y'all. And I want my rice to look a certain way. Child, y'all, come on. Let me show y'all. Come on. Come on, sugar. Y'all know I don't like to leave y'all out on nothing. So just, just come on, come on, boo boo. Okay. Y'all see this rice? You can tell it ain't done, right? You can tell it's not done, but every grain is to itself. That's how I like my rice, y'all. So let me tell you something. I just added just a little razzle-dazzle of water, y'all, because I just want it for that moisture to keep my pot from burning, right? So let me taste to see how far my rice done got. Okay, the rice can use just a little razzle dazzle, like I said. We're gonna take this, mix it up. We're gonna sit it back here on the eye, turn it off, put the lid on it, and it's gonna finish cooking right there, y'all. That way, you're gonna have nice, tender white rice instead of sticky, fluffy, mushy rice. You don't want that. Okay? Alright. So, we, I'm going to come back and show y'all what that look like in a minute. But we finna get back over here with the chicken. Alright now. So, long as y'all done got the rules and all that stuff on how to be a sugar boo, y'all in there. Okay? I just want y'all to become a part of the pimp family. I don't want y'all to be you know, be feeling left out and, you know, like your girl don't love you. Uh, uh, why I ain't seeing her videos? Dang, I miss this girl I seen last week. I want to watch her again this week. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to do so you can be here when I'm here. Okay? And if you did subscribe to my channel, let me go and say this. If you did subscribe to my channel, y'all, and you're not getting notifications from me, then sometimes y'all gotta think this youtube thing is like a big computer so sometimes it get thrown off you know what i'm saying sometimes it might be meant to be thrown off you know what i'm saying to try to try to knock some people sometimes but you know we ain't, we ain't gonna talk about that what we finna say i'm just finna tell y'all what to do so if your notification get thrown off and you know that you did set your notification bell to all what i need for you to do is unsubscribe for my channel yes i said unsubscribe but I ain't tell you not to. I ain't tell you to stay unsubscribe either. Not. So I need for you to unsubscribe from my channel, resubscribe by two minutes, by wait about a minute or two, then resubscribe. Okay. When you resubscribe, you're gonna have to re-hit that notification bell and make sure you reset it to all, and that should reprogram the settings for the notification bell on your end. Okay. And you shouldn't keep missing videos from me. All right. So if you get over here, you find that you keep missing videos from me, leave it in the comments down below on my pre-recorded videos. Let me know. That way I can be reminded to always say this little piece in my videos. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want y'all be missing my videos. I don't want y'all think I'm not posting and stuff like that. Cause you know your girl done got in a you know a good habit of posting just about every day. I didn't post yesterday. I didn't post yesterday. So, I was trying, y'all. I was trying to post for y'all yesterday. But it just wasn't happening, y'all. It didn't happen. And I was trying I was trying my hardest. But then I was like, you know what? I, I The weekend is my day off. This Saturday is my day off. You know what I'm saying? From YouTube and stuff like that. So, I'm going to just go on and enjoy this Saturday off. And don't worry about the video. But I'm telling y'all, it bothered me. 
it bothered me that I did not post that video because I'm like, child, honey, listen, I know me. I miss one day, I might miss two. I miss two, I might miss three. I miss three, I might miss four. The devil is a lie because, honey, y'all almost didn't get a Sunday dinner today because they couldn't decide what they wanted to eat. They couldn't decide what they want to eat. And I'm like, oh, no, I got to listen, y'all. We got to listen. We got to do something dinner for one. We got to. And then for two, we got to come on. I got to come on for the family now, y'all. Listen. So, yeah, they, listen, y'all almost, y'all almost would have been, y'all almost was about to put out an APB for me, y'all. Because y'all was in the, where is you at, child, honey? Listen. Okay, so that's what happened. That's how my day went. My weekend, y'all, my weekend went pretty good. I went and spent time with my sister, and we had a good time over there at her house and, and stuff. And, you know, they, they, they tried to pack some more pounds on me and stuff. They ain't make me eat it, but I ate it. But, you know, like I said, I gave myself two days on the weekend. So I eat what I want, but I try to eat it in moderation, y'all. But y'all know it be, go, be so good. You know what I'm saying? You can't help yourself sometimes. That's just fat girl struggles. If you ain't never been fat before, you don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it is what it is. I'm I work I'm I'm working hard to try to keep it off, and I'm not trying to get it back. And it is what it is. Like I said, you have your slips, you have your struggles, you have your hard times. But as long as you get back on that wagon, that's all that matters, child. That is all that matters. Because at the end of the day, you was the one that got to travel this journey. You was the one that got to you know eat right you was the one that got to exercise you was the one that got to watch your weight fluctuate you was the one that got to deal with them inches and pounds and you was the one that got to deal with it okay so don't let nobody come and discourage you let me tell you that piece right there okay don't let nobody come and discourage you from what it is that you're doing like i told y'all if you feel like that you have a urge and you just can't help yourself for something that you know that you ain't got no business having Go ahead on and have it. Do not beat yourself up about it. Because at the end of the day, one thing that you don't want to do is feel so deprived. Not discouraged. Deprived. If you, One thing you do not want to do is feel so deprived to the point where you want to give up. You know what I'm saying? It's so easy. It's so easy for us to say, man, this shit hard. Fuck this. I'm I don't want to do it no more. You know what I'm saying? But if you just go ahead on and go with your feelings and do, and, and do how you feel, your, your journey will be so much more easier for you because you ain't worrying about what everybody else got to say. You ain't worrying about if somebody see you eating a bag of chips or a snack cake or something like that. Damn them, y'all. Because at the end of the day, they ain't the one putting in the work for you. You know what I'm saying? They ain't the one cooking them meals and preparing them for you. They ain't the one buying them groceries. They ain't the one that's there with you every second throughout the day when you over there, you know, feeling like you ain't got no kind of motivation about yourself or you feel like you can't keep pushing on by yourself or you feel like you need some help they ain't the one right there in your corner so at the end of the day you feel like you need something you better get it because at the end of the day that's the only thing that's going to help you continue to push push forward and to discipline yourself learn you got to learn to discipline yourself when you learn to discipline yourself you ain't gonna have no problems but as long as you ain't got that yet honey it's, it's you gonna always have your slips you feel me you gonna always so don't 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 worry about them little slips that you have as long as you get back on your little rodeo that you was on don't let that that wagon drive off and leave you and you find yourself months and months down the road or maybe even a whole nother year down the road or i'm gonna start over monday stop doing that too y'all Stop doing that. I'm going to start over on Monday. I'm going to just finish on I, what I was doing. Y'all, don't don't start over on Monday. Start then. When you thought about it, start then. Because when you when you do something, when your mind is is so eager to do it, you know what I'm saying? Before you know it, you've been on got yourself in some shit before, before you even know it. And then now it's up to you to make this decision tomorrow or Monday. You like you said you're gonna start Monday. Now it's up to you to decide whether you're gonna keep on going when Monday comes. You feel me? Or whether you're gonna keep on you going you know what I'm saying? Or whether you, you wanna give up or not. You can decide when Monday comes if you wanna give up. But if you made up in your mind on a Friday, I'm finna start. I'm finna I'm finna start me a journey. Start Friday. Don't wait. Cause Friday ain't gonna be no different from Monday. On wait unless when unless money get here and you be like no i think i was just talking honey i think i tried myself child talking about a diet you know what i'm saying it don't call it a diet don't call it a diet call it a call it a, a lifestyle journey when you call it a lifestyle journey y'all that makes it where 
you feel comfortable are you okay with the fact that you mess up sometimes when you call it a lifestyle journey see when you call it a diet it feels so much like a rush everything feel like a rush you in a certain time to get the weight down you in a certain time to get your health right you in a certain time to fit that new dress you in a certain time frame to get your health. you know what i'm saying as long as you call it a diet that's what you're gonna feel like you in a certain time frame to get everything done it's like you rushing rushing um you rushing something that can't be rushed. You know what I'm saying? It didn't you them them pounds didn't rush them well they did rush on you. You know them they, they do be rushing on you. Now I ain't gonna tell that lie. But you know, I'm let me just go and say it and y'all use something else. But the pounds didn't rush on you. You know what I'm saying? So it's all take all that came on you with a certain time frame. You know what I'm saying? And just like it all came on you within a certain time frame, it's gonna take you by that same time frame or even more to lose some weight and even lesser than what it is that you gain sometimes you know what i'm saying so don't beat yourself up y'all don't beat yourself up i do sometimes i ain't gonna tell no lie i do beat myself up but i have to get myself back together too you know what i'm saying because if i continue to beat myself up over and over and over and over and over and over and it happens too y'all it do but if I can see, if I could let it, you know, keep going on, okay, now you're going to wash the chicken. It's already soaked in the vinegar and the salt, right? Okay, so now you're going to wash the chicken. You ain't got to worry about, you know, soaking the chicken. Only thing you want to do now is get it washed up real good and everything. Pull a little extra fat off of there, you know, that you don't want on there and stuff like that. And that's it. But yeah, y'all, this is what you want to do if you want to get on your journey. If it's a struggle in the beginning, you feel like you want to give up, please, I encourage y'all, don't give up. Please don't give up. You're going you to be mad at yourself if you do. And that's one thing I don't want to be this time. I don't want to be mad at myself for giving up when I know that I could have pushed myself to keep going. So don't give up just keep going you have hard days you're gonna have them if you um you feel stressed you're gonna be stressed if you feel like you want to give up you're gonna feel like that if you feel like you uh don't know what you want to eat it's gonna be like that if you feel like you don't know um if you didn't eat all your calories in one day it's gonna be like that if you feel like that you don't mess up because you drunk a soda ate some chips and candy bar cake pash something you don't have some sugar bread sweets something by size of your you know your your uh your regimen that you're gonna be on it's okay it's gonna be like that y'all listen don't beat yourself up because at the end of the day you you got off the journey right because you slipped one day but then when you decide to get back on that journey you're gonna find yourself where you be done slipped again so don't stop because you slipped y'all you're gonna always slip Ain't nobody perfect. Stop listening to people, man. Stop listening to people. People people make you feel discouraged. People make you feel like you want to give up. People make you feel like you don't want to keep going. Because that's what they want to see from you sometimes when they make you feel that way. They want to see you give up. They so used to you giving up and not not sticking to something. So well, they gon they gon they gon they gon they ain't gonna have no problem saying something about you because they know that that's what you're used to doing. They know that you're weak-minded. They know that you ain't strong enough to stick to, you know, stuff like that. So, of course, some people are going to make you feel that way. But at the end of the day, you know what? If they say something about you like that and you know it's true, you know, oh, I thought you said that you weren't going to eat this. Oh, I thought you said, first of all, don't tell me what you thought I thought that what you thought I said because at the end of the day, I eat what I want to eat, okay? Regardless of a diet or no diet, I'm going to eat what I want to eat. Okay? You ain't putting it down your throat in your stomach to push out. So, y'all listen. Do what makes do what makes when you do this, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you comfortable. Do what makes it easier for you. If you find that you have to have cheat days, like I told y'all, I found I, where I have to have cheat days. I just can't. Listen, right now at this point, y'all, I can't. I just can't keep going. I can't keep going without a, at least one cheat day or two cheat days a week. You know what I'm saying? I gave myself two. Reason being, I didn't have to, but I gave myself two. Reason being because I know me on the weekend. You know what I'm saying? I know me. Saturday and Sunday. Oh yeah, most definitely. 
I ain't nobody bitch finna be in no kitchen trying to cook nothing healthy and stuff like that. And I know me and my family, we get together on the weekend and we have other good food and stuff like that. And you think I want to be on the diet, uh, eating right and all that stuff like that? Yeah, I'm going to eat in moderation, but I'm not finna, uh-uh, baby. Uh-uh, I need my cheat days until I can't, until I don't need cheat days no more, okay? When I feel that I get to the point where I don't need no cheat days no more, then I will cut them out. But I've been doing good without, with the cheat days. You know, like I said, you got to do this in moderation, y'all, because I'm telling you, them cheat days will make you have to, you'll be done backtrack to what you be done lost. And, and, and just them two days, you'll be done, you know what I'm saying? You'll be done got them back. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying like a whole hundred like that. I'm just saying, you know, if you worried about, okay, you happy about you done lost five pounds, I'm telling y'all, five pounds will come back in a day or two. So be careful. Be careful. Be careful, y'all. All right, so with all the little nasty stuff, I'm going to put all that came off the chicken. All that came off that chicken. So, you can save the skin, not the gut. Save the skin, and you can save it for putting it in the freezer, like the skin, the fat, and stuff like that. You can save that and freeze it and use it for broth whenever you decide to make you a homemade chicken broth. Okay, we're about to get to the chicken in just a second, y'all. Hold on. notification bell when I say ring the doorbell that mean hit the thumbs up the like button for your girl go on spread me around so I can try to you know get on get, you know what I'm saying so you two can recommend me to other people and we'll have this 
channel and live popping, y'all, okay? Y'all, we need to be popping today. We got 300 people in here. I know I can get me a 200. I know I can, honey. Okay. So I got the chicken right here, y'all. And I'm about to sit it over here for a second. Hold up. Wash these little, few little dishes up real quick because I don't have no room for mess. Hold on, y'all. 192. Oh, <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all for ringing the doorbell. I appreciate y'all. Okay, so we about to do this baked chicken, y'all. Hold on, let me get me some pans. If you don't 
complete do with it see what it do child on this chicken on this baby chicken season your chicken good too y'all okay that's listen i season mine i see i heard you i heard you all right come on y'all let's go in with a little bit of this uh chicken seasoning just for a little flavor you know we know it's gonna give it some flavor that's chicken why you need chicken flavor honey do what you want to do then okay I'm just trying to tell you. That's all. Okay. Then we're going to take us a little bit of this slap your mama seasoning because it's got a little heat to it. I like that. I'm not going to put too much because they be like, that's it. So we're going to put a little bit of this slap your mama in now. And uh, then we're going to go in with some black pepper. Child, I don't know why my mama got this black pepper in this little shaker, child. I got time. So we're gonna put that on there right though. Like that. Mm-hmm. I would love to have some lemon pepper. Mom, you got lemon pepper? You got my lemon pepper? Child, y'all, I messed around and tried me some doggone lemon pepper chicken the other day, the other week, y'all, whenever I did it, honey. That chicken was so good. And I had squeezed some lemon on there, y'all. So I put the lemon pepper and I put some lemon. And I'm one of the ones, I did not like lemon pepper seed chicken, y'all. That's why I'm telling y'all about it. I did not like lemon pepper chicken because I guess I must have, like, the person that made it, they must have had, um, like, that artificial lemon juice or something like that. It had an artificial lemon juice flavor. And I did not like that, y'all. I don't like no fake lemon flavor to nothing if you want to do lemon something use like the real lemon juice or whatever in my opinion since i've tried it myself that's what i say do use the real lemon juice but other than that um honey y'all know what i'm finna do y'all see this mustard girl on baked chicken girl you better not question me okay put you some mustard okay Hold on, I'm looking for some paprika. Mom, you got paprika? Mama, mama ain't got nothing. Mama ain't never. Y'all, mama, mama ain't never got two things that match. She got bread, but no, but no meat. She got a pot, she got a stove, but no pots. She got a pan, she got some cake, but no pan. She got some cooking, but no sugar. She got some grease, but no oil, honey. Okay. <laughs> 
Y'all, mama ain't never. Y'all, mama ain't never, y'all. Mama, mama don't cook, y'all, okay? For those of y'all that don't know. Mama don't cook, child. Mama ain't finna cook, honey. You get cussed out talking about cooking. Toss this around. Hold on. Toss this around. Get it all coated with that mustard. And must, if, if mustard pop on my pot and chicken juice pop on the outside of my pot, honey, listen, don't panic, okay? Listen, that's what soap, water, and rag is for. Season, I mean, massage this meat, honey. Get a massage down. Give it a good massage. Throw you some paprika on there so you can have some color. You know, the, the little deep color, like season salt or something. Give you, throw you some of that on there. Did I, what kind of seasoning did I put on there? I put some, I put some onion powder, garlic powder, soul seasoning, chicken based seasoning. Okay, then I'm going to taste it for the flavor to make sure it's seasoned enough. But yes, most definitely, you can put mustard on baked chicken, y'all. Baked ribs, baked pork chops, whatever. Only thing that must is gonna do is cook in to the meat. It's not gonna taste like mustard. Mustard is another seasoning, okay? It's just that's all it is, just another seasoning. And it's gonna give it some ooh, child. Okay, honey. Okay, honey. Did I tell you that the mustard was good? Did I did I did I tell you that part? Oh, okay, just in case I did, honey. The mustard is delicious on chicken, on meat, honey, fish. Okay. If you don't know, you better try. You better, you better come visit me a little more regular. Okay. You better, boo. You getting up under that skin. Mm. We're going to try to do a dry bake with this chicken, y'all. I want me a dry bake. Chickens. Chicken. Chicken, chicken. Big chickens. And chicken. And chicken. And chicken, chicken. And chicken. And chicken. Okay, so I ain't going to be able to fit that meat in my pan, y'all. I'm trying to rearrange my pan with my chicken and him and make them fit. I don't want to overcrowd it, but when it start building up water and juice on them, not water, when it start building up juices on it, I'm going to come and pour it off because I want to dry baked chicken, but I don't want the chicken dry. But I want to dry baked chicken.
Okay, so this is the chicken. Now I'm gonna give it a taste. Oh, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Y'all, please hit it one time for the one time for your girl. If you don't mind ringing a doorbell for your girl one more time, hey! If you don't mind ringing a doorbell for your girl one more time, one more time. If you don't mind ringing a doorbell for your girl one more time, okay? <coughs> Y'all make my throat dry. Hey, Latoya. Woo, try. Hey, um, um, SRC. Hey, boo. Hey, bitch. Hey, Kim, uh, the Kim Squad. What's up? Hey, yo, uh, who else? Hey, Ava, boo. What you said? As much as I would, as much as I get tired of chicken, I sure won't. So I'm not hunting. I don't get tired of chicken, Ava. Listen, chick. Ava. Ava. Hey, Tad. Ava, guess what, child? I can eat chicken every day, child, honey. Listen, okay, so now we got to see if this chicken is seasoned. How you going to see a raw chicken seasoned, child? I'm going to show you. Hold on. All right, you got your chicken. You're going to take you a little swipe, honey. Listen, we don't wash this chicken, clean this chicken. It's a little raw. You don't put more raw things in your mouth than this. Okay, worse off raw things in your mouth than this so we're gonna taste this raw chicken right here we're gonna swipe it just a little bit and see where the seasoning is at it's not too seasoned it's not too seasoned but it's seasoned okay so i'm gonna throw me since i'm gonna throw me a little celery salt off on here just like that and then that's gonna be all the seasoning it's gonna be right here. So I'm gonna roll them over and throw just a little bit more on them. And then that's it, cause it's seasoned, but it just needs just a little, it just, you know how when you taste it, it's just like, it's, it's, it's at the season mark. You know how when it be at the season mark and the, and the, and the under season mark, but it's seasoned. Okay, so that's where I was at. I was at the season and under season mark. So, that's why I'm just putting it just, just hitting it. Just let it hit it like that one time. Just like that. And then, that's it for the chicken. So, now, y'all, I'm talking about a dry baked honey, but I might just do just a regular bake and just use these two pans because I ain't got no, I don't want to do three pans of chicken in the oven. You know what I'm saying? I know I got time. So, I think we might just do us some regular some regular bake. We're going to see, but they're going to be piled up in this pan just like this to go in the oven and bake, honey. Because when y'all go to the restaurants and stuff like that, who's to say that this chicken don't be piled up in the pan because they don't want to mess up another pan or they ain't got no now another pan, but they got two more or three more pieces of chicken that need to go in the pan with the rest of it or go in another pan. But they like, you know what? Ain't nobody got time, honey. We just going to throw that chicken on together. They don't know what you done did long as it tastes good. As long as it tastes good, can somebody finish it for me? That's all that matters, right? Okay. All right, so now we got the chicken. All right, so we're going to get the chicken in the oven, uncover. No water, no nothing. You don't need water on chicken. Because chicken make its own juice, okay? So we're going to get this in the oven down here on the bottom rack. Because we ain't got all day to be cooking. 
Talking about putting in the middle of the rack, top rack. Tiana, they cook a little slower like that. You cook a slow, I'm cooking it fast. All right, so put it's on my oven is on 400 degrees and it's on the bottom rack. Let's check these um, cabbages and this rice real quick. I can see the rice fluffed up a little bit more in the pot. So we're going to check it to make sure it don't did what it's supposed to do. For this point right here with the rice, you're going to need your fork, y'all. Not no spoon. If you, if you got a spoon. Ain't got no fork, it's alright. You got to, but I like to fluff my rice with a fork. Okay? So, this is what we got. Right here. Sorry, y'all. I'll just be sliding you down and stuff. We ain't got no room for mess, so let me get my stuff. Alright, so we got the rice. So now, what we got here is our finished rice, yellow rice, that you're going to need a pot for, I mean a fork for, and you're going to fluff it up. Like so, with the fork. Y'all see how it don't fluffed up and got and grew and stuff? Y'all look at that. Now that rice is done. Just sitting on that eye, just stand up. It finished cooking. So you don't have to keep adding all that water to your rice and stuff like that. And then that's thing you know, you overcook your rice. This is how I like my rice, y'all. This is how I tried to show y'all last week, but I messed it up and, and had it mush, mushy and fluffy and stuff. It was still good, but... You know, I like mine like this. Every grain to itself, just like that. And that is some good rice right here, y'all. Y'all see that yellow rice? Ooh. Ooh. Y'all look at that. Nice rice. All right. Now time for the taste. There you go. Oh yeah, that's good. You bannable. You bannable. You bannable. Ah! You bannable. Y'all know me from the pot to a pan. Because I like to wash my dishes up. Don't get them out of the way. Nobody got time. Uh-uh. So we're going to take the rice. We're gonna put it right on in this pan, honey. The pan ain't gonna change the taste of your food, okay? If y'all has to dig it like that where y'all wanna keep it in y'all nice, pretty pots, then that's on you. But honey, I ain't like that, honey. I'm has to dig it enough to say, I ain't washing no dishes later on. That rice look good, don't it, y'all? I did that. 
with that onion and that rice too. Now, of course, you're gonna get a little brown on the bottom of your rice, but it's all right, honey. Ain't no wrong with a little Cajun every now and then. It ain't gonna kill you, okay? Mix it on together. Folks probably think that it's a little, uh, Girl, you made fried rice, show sure did. Uh-huh, don't tell them no better. Ooh, girl, I love me some fried rice. Girl, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it, child, okay? Now, bougie, we fin bougie boo. Where you at, bougie boo? We finna be a little bougie boo today, but this called the bougie boo. We ain't got no parsley, kind of bougie boo. Okay, boo. We finna be bougie. Okay. All right. Let me show y'all. It's called we ain't got no parsley, but it ain't gonna change the taste. How about that? We ain't got no parsley. Miss Parsley, Miss, uh, didn't I tell y'all Miss Parsley didn't want to show up? Okay, so I'm just doing like this, just pushing it down. That's all I'm doing. Making it look nice in my, my pen. Presentation is the key, y'all, please. Y'all make your stuff look good for folks. I don't care if you think you did throw down, but at the same time, make it look good. You know what I'm saying? Like, decorate it all up and, you know, put it on the plate nice form and... You know, if you if you like to eat yours all thrown together, you throw yours together. But don't throw nobody else on together, okay? But this right here is the bougie parsley. This bougie parsley, y'all, okay? So that's why I start with a B. It's bougie, it's bougie parsley. Well, we, it's called basil. But it's bougie parsley because cause, cause this right here show up when pa Miss Parsley don't know how to come to the food fair reunion. Okay? So we're going to take bougie. Woo! Shot! <laughs> Y'all, she was too bougie. Hold up. Okay, so we're going to take some of that. Y'all, I'm not going to get them all that right there now. Bougie, listen, you can't take bo uh, parsley place, okay? It try to take parsley place. No, you're not gonna take parsley place now. All right. Cooks mess up sometimes. Cooks mess up. Cooks mess up. Don't do me. Okay. So we're gonna take some of this parsley. I mean, um, this bougie parsley. All right, y'all, so that's the rice. So now I'm gonna take some foil and put it on there. And it's still, it's ready to go and it's hot, y'all, okay? So it's still gonna do just a little bit more fluffing because it's still hot, it's still cooking. As long as it's hot, it's gonna still cook, okay? So that is the yellow rice. Y'all, right. let's set a goal of 300. Go, listen, y'all. You got to dream big sometimes, you know. Let's go and set a goal of 300, y'all, and see if we can get there. We already at 226. Why not? Okay. So let's see if we can get to them 300 doorbell ring. Okay. So if you one of the ones that came in here and you did not ring the doorbell, thumbs up the video or hit the like button. Okay. Please. Do that for you, girl. If you don't mind ringing a doorbell for you, girl, one more time. Hey, there go my sister, y'all style. It's Nikita. Y'all, listen, y'all gonna show my sister channel some love, y'all. Her name right there, style X Nikita. She is a loctician. Y'all probably wonder who did that girl have? Well, who who do her dress shot? 
that's the one that do the dreads right there she have different transformation videos on her channel and also she trying to uh, add a little cooking videos to her channel child so y'all go over and show my sister styled x nikita channel some love if y'all don't mind and when you do y'all please when you get over there let her know that i sent you in the comments okay all right all right y'all so let's get down here to the oh uh, oh hold on Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Alright. So now we're about to get to the cabbages. Look at them cabbages. All right, so now I'm gonna taste it for the seasoning, y'all, and see what they got going on. If they need a little salt, a little pepper, a little salt here and there, you know. Baby, 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 damn cabbage is good. Mm -hmm. Baby, 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 damn cabbage is good. put them down in the pan now we don't put us a little ham meat off in the pan because why I told y'all presentation is the key right you got to make it look good for the for the ones that's coming to eat it if you don't want to waste your money and, and, and have it still sitting on the eye because you was auntie uh, Willie May they thought she made the best cabbages but really auntie Willie May cabbages ain't good but nobody just ever had the courage to tell them you know so, we're going to put these cabbages on in this pan right here. Let me pour some of the water off, y'all, because I ain't no fan of water or cabbage for real. y'all don't go nowhere only thing i have to do is hit one little button and we'll be back so don't go nowhere it's just gonna do that sometimes if you leave then i must not have your attention anyway okay all right so we're gonna dump these cabbages see you want them to see that little ham meat child you know what i'm saying even though we ain't really did nothing for real for real but i'm just saying we did enough you want them to see the little ham meat sitting up there. They be like, ooh, child. Time they see that meat in that ham, they be like, ooh, girl, I know them ham. Them cabbage is good. Don't even know because it look good. That's all it is. It look good. So looks is, is key. You got to make it look good first. People eat with their eyes. Okay? A lot of us eat with our eyes. Probably all. Then after it look good, you know, before the look good part, it have to taste good. Then it look good. Then it do be good, okay? All right. I just had to break it down for you so y'all will know. You know what I'm saying? So we just going to strategically just, you know, child, y'all hear me using big word. Okay, we going to str Now I forgot how to say it. Strategically. We going to strategically place these little ham pieces up here, y'all. Mm-hmm. Just to make it look like they just fell up there like that you know what I'm saying I promise y'all y'all come to my house to eat even if you did eat it you gonna try it you gonna try it I bet you'll try it cause that's cause cause that's how I'm good like oh child nah don't that look good don't that look good but y'all remember 
Miss Parsley, Miss Pickles. You remember? Bougie Parsley. Okay, we're gonna take Bougie Parsley. That's basil, I know. Take that Bougie Parsley and just put you some on there like that. Just to make it look a little bougier. Okay, it's already bougie. Just make it bougier. Gier. You gotta add the gier to it, okay? If you don't add the gier, then it ain't bougie. Okay, so now we're gonna take up some foil. It's done. We're gonna take up some foil and put it on that. Y'all, we got a goal of 300 doorbell rings. 300, y'all. I know we can make it to the 300 because y'all loves your girl that much. Okay. So, if y'all help me get to them 300 doorbell rings, I would surely appreciate it, y'all. We ain't never, I don't think we ever got the 300 before on our live. So, let's go on on and break a record if we will. Okay. Let's go on break a record, child. Help me get to them 300 doorbell rings. What the, why the doorbell let down? I don't even know where it's at, child. The doorbell is the thumbs up, the like button. That's all it is, child. Okay. I call it the doorbell because that means that you coming over here. You ain't trespassing. And you also let me know, honey. Hey, I'm here. I support you all the way the long way. All the way with 100. Okay. Hey, uh, Miss Pre Miss Miss Paisley. Hey, Miss Paisley. Hey, Danielle Boo. Thank you, Beverly. How y'all doing? Okay, so got the, got the, I got the, um, I got it. <laughs> I couldn't think of it, but I got it. <sighs> Alright, y'all, so now we finna get ready to do, um, the fried cornbread in a minute. You know, let me get over here and, um, let me wash those few little dishes right there and then we will be ready for the fried whole cake corn bread. Oh, okay. Miss Meanie's way. Alright, so let me wash these real quick, y'all. Miss Meanie, Miss Meanie is my mama, y'all. Mom, you must, you on the video? Over here, just going out, just to be going out. Danielle ain't got Danielle ain't got no power. How can you get a blue wrench? I give out the blue wrenches to the ones. How long you don't been with me, Dion? Y'all, we finna, we finna get us a, um, we about to get us a join button. That's what we about to get. We about to get us a join button so people can join like that.
I'm trying to talk to y'all and it was acting up. But yeah, I'm going to get the join button for y'all. Two weeks ain't long enough, Miss Dion. I, I do it for the ones that um be the, that done been here for a while. And, you know, that I can trust with the button. You know, the the, the, the wrench. You know what I'm saying? At least that, that I think I can trust with the wrench. You know, I can only trust y'all so far as far as I can see you, right? Okay. So, I trust y'all. I, tr I, tr I trust y'all with... Y'all being here and stuff like that. I trust y'all with the wrench, the ones that have it and stuff like that. And just because people get the wrench don't mean that they can't lose the wrench. Because people do lose the wrench. You know. But I just, I just, I just, I, I try to, I try, I was doing that. Let me tell you something. At first when I did it, y'all, you know, I honestly, I, I was giving them out left and right, for real. I honestly didn't even know, for real, for real, like, like what's all behind being a moderator and stuff like that you know what i'm saying but then when i found out what what you know and stuff i kind of had to like slow it down and give it to the ones that you know i think i gotta feel my way to you you know what i'm saying gotta feel my way to you and when i feel my way to you when i get comfortable enough with you to have it that's when i give it to you so it ain't no certain date, no certain time, or nothing like that. You, um, Dion, you say you've been here two weeks. You just never know. You just never know. I just have to see your loyalty with me. You know what I'm saying? I gotta see what I gotta see what me and you stand, and then I can, you know what I'm saying, give it to you. But I just can't give my like that. But we gonna get us a join button. The join button is the membership, and I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find, it don't take a lot to get a wrench because you had one too, Shirley. Okay, so I'm trying to find, um, you know, uh, something to add to the, I, I done added some stuff, y'all, I did, but, you know, I, I, um, I really don't know what to add to the channel. For the join but but i got a lot of stuff now that i do already and i don't want to bring something that i can't stick to you know what i'm saying i don't want to do that so we have some little special stuff that i already do now thursday nights i'm not gonna do that for a join button but fridays can be for a join button that way it'll be guaranteed once a month the latest night that can be for the join button or something you know, I just got to figure out what it is. I don't want to bring the join button to y'all and then, ain't you know what I'm saying, I don't really know what I'm going to offer to go along with it. But, you know, it's just so y'all can be members on my channel and stuff like that. And it might, we probably don't even have to have no reason for the join button, I guess. I don't know. It's just all in how you and your subscribers is and stuff like that. It is what it is. I don't know. But I'm going to try to get one. I, I, okay, I'm glad you do, Miss Shirley. Still doing it. And there's buffer. You want to just come do your mixture for them? Well, come look at me, mix it up or something so I can see how you like it. Yeah. Okay. And what else? Okay. If there's some milk in there, I put milk. 
milk instead of water. Yeah. Them some medium eggs. Ain't nothing large about them eggs. I know. Okay. They know they wrong for that now. You got some milk? Nope. Mom, you got onions in here. I could have thrown it in this pan and bell peppers. You was going to use them? Instead of them going bad? I do. Oh, you use them? Okay. No, I don't. I just seen them. I could have put them on top of that chicken, but... Y'all, we was buffering. I'm sorry, y'all. We was buffering. I was trying to get in time. Okay, it wasn't y'all, it was me. Okay, so mama said that she didn't want to know how to make it. Okay, I just wanted her to come on and do it for y'all. And I'm finna, she just told me how much she liked you, so we're gonna do mama's own. Good now? Okay. So, we ain't buffering, so we, we in there, in there like swan well now. Alright, so what you're gonna need is. Hold on. All right. So basically what you're going to need for this mixture for the fried sweet cornbread is my way to cornmeal. Oh, it's in here. The sound. Okay, I got it. Okay, so what you're going to need is a bowl. You're going to need you one egg or maybe two. I was just going to say, you ain't got no self rising? Uh uh. Y'all, we're supposed to use self rising flour. Mama got all purpose and she ain't got no baking powder. Mama, you ain't, and you ain't got, well, maybe the cornmeal is self rising. Okay, so the cornmeal is self rising, y'all. So we're going to. We're going to pray this turn out right with the, oh, this self-rising flour. Okay, self-rising flour, you're going to need one cup. Where the cornmeal? It must ain't no cornmeal. You have to use these kind of measuring cups for your dry, for dry goods, y'all. You can't use the, the one for the liquid, like look like a cup. You can't use that. That's not the same as using dry good measure cup. Okay, so you're gonna need one cup of flour. Make a cake. One cup of flour. Ma'am. Oh, I see it, the little short one. Okay, then you're gonna need you all purpose, I mean, one cup of self rising flour, don't matter what kind of flour, y'all. Then you're gonna get you one cup of self-rising, hot rice, whatever, cornmeal. Mom, how much sugar you like to add? About a half a cup. Okay, then Mama gonna then we put sugar in here. So I'm gonna guesstimate about a half a cup. All right, then. It was different, but we bad. I doubled up the recipe. So that's one cup of all-purpose flour. I mean, one cup of self-rising flour. Don't matter what kind. One cup of um, self-rising cornmeal. Don't matter what kind. And half a cup of sugar.
Not yet. It's buffering. I can't even get all the ingredients together because the buffering. All right, y'all. I'm back. We still buffering. Like I said, go in and out, y'all. Please just bear with me. Please do. Y'all don't leave. I just got to wait on it to stop buffering and then I can, you know, hit the thing to make it stop buffering or whatever. Stop. Make it reconnect. Yeah, it don't stop. Okay, so half a cup of self-rising cornmeal. It's finna buff again. Look like. Half a cup of se I mean, sorry y'all. One cup of self-rising cornmeal. One cup of self-rising flour. Half a cup of sugar. One egg. You're going to need you some milk or water does not matter because I mix mine with water all the time. Okay. And you're going to need you some cooking oil. So the amount of cooking oil that you're going to need is, honey, just measure with your eyes, honey, until the ancestors say stop. Okay. Listen, don't pour the whole bottle now. Just pour you some. So let's see. We're going to say if I was to use this, I'll measure liquids with um um dry good measure cup and don't measure dry goods with liquid cups but we if i was to use the same cup i add about a half a cup of oil y'all okay all right so now i'm gonna stir uh, i'm gonna stir it in a little at a time so y'all can see the consistency Don't look, oh, the little one. All right, so now you're gonna need you some water. I got about four cups of water. This is the wet measuring cup. Anything wet, you measure with this kind of measuring cup. All right, so I got me a spoon, got me a spatula, got my frying pan, we got grease on the side, we got the water. All right, I want y'all to see this texture of what it's supposed to be like. I'm a, I hope we don't buffer y'all, but we probably is because it seems like when I get it in a certain spot, it buffers. So y'all, just, just get in there the best as you can, okay? Honey, turn your phone sideways, take it off of, not rotate, okay? I'm going to need for y'all to get in the habit of having to rotate your phone and stuff. <laughs> Y'all rotate that phone. All right, so I'm just mixing in that little uh, that little um, cornmeal um oil. All right, so now we're gonna time. How much? Listen, stop worrying. Don't panic. It's gonna be okay. If you pour a little bit at a time, you won't overly add too much water. Okay. So look, you want it to be thick because it gotta hold up like a pancake mix. Almost like that. You want it like a thick mix. If you make a, a thin pancake mix, this ain't what you're trying to do. You want a, a thick mix that's going to help hold everything together, child, like it's supposed to. Okay? A little bit at a time. This is not hot water. This is regular cornbread. Fried whole cakes that I'm going to make. Not hot water cornbread. I think hot water cornbread, they use a whole different meal and everything. Okay, so I'm getting that a good mix around. You can do this with water, milk, or buttermilk. It's up to you. What you want to do is your stuff. You do what you want to do. Did I tell y'all one egg too? So that mixture, I doubled mine. That's why I look like it so much. I might have pulled too much water that time. Hold on, we're going to see. I don't want my mess. Gotta fold that in. Okay, so it's about starting to look how I want it to look. Y'all see that? That's the kind of consistency that you want 
with your bread mix like a pancake. See it? You want it just like this. It ain't running off that spoon. Fast. Come, come look at your mixture. See if it's how you like it. It's how I like it. You ain't see it. Mom, come look. Let me go show my mama this mixture, y'all. Before I have to go in there and, and try. All right, so this is, she said, this is perfect how she like hers, y'all. It's perfect for me. As it sit, I'm going to let you know. If it take you too long to make your bread up, as it sit, it's going to continue to thicken. So you might have to add you a little bit more water to it. All right, so now we got our pan on. You, you just like making pancakes. That's how you finna do this. Just like, so if you make burnt pancakes, then you're going to have you some burnt whole cakes, okay? But... We gonna try not to make them burnt, half done, none of that, or too big. I don't want them too big. All right. So now y'all, we got our pan on. And only thing you need, Ju, is just a little bit of oil. While we wait on this grease to warm up, y'all. You don't stop smelling me. While we wait on this grease, y'all, let's check this chicken and see what it's looking like, honey. Yeah. Okay, this is the chicken so far, y'all. It got a little juice in the pan. Uh oh, shit. Got a little juice in the pan. I'm gonna pour that little juice off. I don't want no juice in the pan. The chicken still gonna be moist. Put it back in now. Just like so. This is how you do a dry baked chicken, y'all. Dry baked roasted chicken. Just like that. Ain't nothing hard to it. My grease is warming up, heating up for my bread. gonna put that little water right there so when I need to um do my bread and uh, we got a goal of 300 y'all 246 people in here I mean 246 people were on the doorbell and 206 people is in the house if y'all will please ring the doorbell for your girl if you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl Okay. Okay. Love you too. 
You look like them bring me another pan from in there. I need a pan. And that's it. Let your spoon be the guide to how big you want them, whatever, or whatever, eyeball them, how big you want them. I'm doing almost a whole spoon, y'all, and I take it and I put it down in the pan like so, more than one, about at least about three. Try not to touch because when you touch, I got a little bit too much oil in my pan. God dang it. Hold on, y'all. It's a little too much oil in here. These two, these don't count. Don't count them right there, y'all. They're going to be good, but I got too much oil in my pan. Y'all, I turned my grease down some, too. Yeah, that's, that's, ooh. I need something to put it in, and I ain't got nothing. To put this extra oil in. Too much oil. That's too much, y'all. Hold on. What's up, Will? What's up, Sugar Boo? That's all right. We're going to let that fry together. And it's going to be good to go. Good, good, good. You don't need much oil, y'all. Just a little bit at a time. Especially once you get them frying. I think we got too many. We both, we was buffering, y'all. And I think the first one's up. Y'all know how pancakes be okay. These messed up, too. All right, they messed up. We're going to get it right for the second round. And the first. Yeah, I don't like that one. Uh-uh. I ain't going to. I ain't going to serve nobody those. Cornbreads right there. All right, start over. It's too much oil in my pan the first time. All right. So we're going to let that warm up there. Like so. Then we're going to get us some of this mixture. Turn it. That's how you want. How I had it the first time, that ain't what you want. You don't want all that all around it. I'm 
gonna let that cook up just a little bit more. Get a little bit more crust around the edges to make it easier to flip when you let a little crust build up around the edges. Like that, like that, like that. Mm, 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 You better, you better, you better, hey. Hey, you better, hey, hey, you better, mm -hmm. you better, you better, you better, you better. Okay. Get that a little flip it and flip. Just a little oil at a time. You can't put these and cook cook these on too too much oil. Especially over the bottom. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh, I did. <laughs> Here she goes. I'm gonna get my pot out of here. So now you're gonna let it let it cook low, low enough because you want that inside to cook. It's still you gotta let that cook a little bit, y'all. And of course, they let me tell y'all something. These right here, they soaks up some grease, y'all. Okay, so I'm just letting y'all know now, honey. They 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 they, they do a little soaking, okay. But you gotta let them fry because you gotta let that bread cook on the inside. Ain't nothing healthy about whole cakes, y'all, at all. Oh, that's the same thing. It's methylenium, is what you're trying to say. Play with your eye so you don't burn them, but you got to cook them all the way through. Don't be mashing them down and stuff. You can if you want to, but I don't. I don't know if my mama do. Mom, do you mash yours down? Mom. You mash yours? Yeah. Do you mash them? No. I think. Okay. Let's see what happened this time. Y'all, hey, um, cooking with Telly, hey, Sandra, hey, um, Mama Ray Ray. Chef Brooklyn. No, I can't. What? That's how you eat your Chef Brooklyn? Yeah, it's easy. I had to add me some more 
You fry some pork steaks, girl. That sound good. I had to add some more flour to it, y'all. It's not they wasn't holding together after frying like they was supposed to. So I added some more flour. Dang, I ain't never had it like that, Chef Brooklyn. What up? Oh, good. Shit. I'm here trying to get this bread right. Let's go. Hey, sister. Hey, y'all. Hey, sister, y'all. Hey, y'all. What's up, How y'all doing? Hey, Tlatika. Hey, JC. Hey, Marsha. Hey, Brosia. How you doing? Hey, Miss Shirley. What up, Chef Rick? How you doing? Don't do me. Hey, Pre Love. How y'all doing? Thank you. 
Mama, you got some water. Listen to him, talking about Oreo. Right, yeah, he'll give me a walk from over there. Oh, yeah. Oreo. 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 Y'all might be worrying about the crumbs that I'm breaking out the pans, but if, any, if there's anybody here that's like me, you know the little crumbs that be in the pan if they ain't burnt, I still like the crumbs out the pan and put them in my cabbages or my green. You're going to crumble it up anyway, right? Okay. Okay, let's take quite a bit of oil, y'all. We were not buffer this much. This is the whole cake, y'all. Y'all see them? Hey, Marilyn. Let me know fry still. Finna check the chicken. Y'all look at that chicken. That chicken there, that chicken tender, I can already tell. Oh yes, honey. Let me put this on the top rack for a little bit. Cause I'ma let my color, oh baby. Baby. I'ma let me let, get some more color on that chicken. And then, wanna tell the family, hey sugar, oh come on. Come tell them, hey, come on, come on. He gone. He don't, I was trying to get uh, my nephew say hey to y'all. Hold on. Let me go get the other one. Boop, boop. Say hey, y'all. What up, y'all out there? What up, y'all? Look right here, boo. What up, y'all out there? What up, y'all? Say what? up y'all say hey man look how he looking at y'all he look he's he say yo once he gotta finish this bread hold up okay
This the chicken, y'all. Then that whole cake bread over there, and I'll show y'all the rest in a minute.
Here go the spread, y'all. Uh, Stop it. Put it back. Here go the home. Here go the whole spread, y'all. Hey, Back this way. Come on. Uh-uh. Come on. Y'all stop buffering now so y'all can see this good food chat. <laughs> Yes, Miss Shirley. It is. Hopefully, it don't go out. It's buffering on my end. Can y'all see? Okay, look like y'all can see. This is the whole cakes. The oven baked chicken dry bake dough. Not in all the juice and stuff. This is the yellow rice. And the cabbage. So this is our setup, y'all. They they gonna be ready to come on in here and eat this hill 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 chai. Yes, boo, honey, and drink of choice. Okay. Mm hmm. Thank y'all. I thank you, boo. I hope y'all try. Look, get in there. Get your piece now. We ain't gonna get mouth distance today, y'all. Y'all see it? Mm, look at that chicken. Look at that skin on it. Look at that skin. Y'all want a piece? Oh, right here. Oh, you want that one right there, girl? Or you want that one back there? Which one you want? That one right there? Oh, thank you, JC. I hear you. Come on in, girl. Come on. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's them cabbages with that ham in it. You got your plate? Okay. Go and fix your own plate. Huh? Here, get your plate. All y'all get your plates now. Get your plate. You got it. Got you a leg? Okay. All right, here you go. Here you go the rice. Get you some rice. Here you 
All right, you want your whole cake? Okay, I'm coming. Hold on, want a whole cake? Here you go. Lamar, Kita, y'all want to do the taste test for me? But as long as I can stay straight, we can do it. You want to? You want to get mouth distance? Y'all want to do the taste test? Somebody? It, it don't matter. I just need you to come taste it. It's good anyway. Well, don't it? You want another taste? I got you. Mm -hmm. What'd I say? It's buzzing. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. They must can still see though. Yeah, they can see. Some, some, I don't know what they can see, but they can. sometimes they can see. This is the cabbage, the baked chicken, the yellow rice, the cornbread sitting up there on top. Keita giving it a taste test for y'all. That's Styled X Nikita, y'all. If y'all don't know who she is, gonna tell them about the show. Styled X. Oh no. It's black still. It yeah. It's black and white on our end, so can y'all see? Can y'all see what's going and on? Yeah, right ask them because sometimes they can see you. They can't if they can see you still do it. Can y'all see what's going on here in this delicious plate here? Huh? Huh? Let's see one yes, okay. Okay. Maybe we're not brushing our Let me see what the uh oh yeah, they, they can see you. Oh, okay. We, you just can't see them. Okay, and you got the percentage, so you good. go ahead. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I don't try this rice side right. This rice is good. I know I ain't hungry. I mean, I know it ain't. I know it ain't just because I'm hungry. This rice is good. I don't think I'm missing. It ain't mushy or nothing. Thank you. Y'all want some? Mm, boy. Oh, y'all get everything. Them cabbage busting too. What, girl? The cabbage is busting. Girl. <laughs> Taste my bread. Taste my chicken. Boy, this goddamn bread tastes like some funnel cake. For real? Ooh. Got, Is it? You got a crunch, girl. What, girl? The crunch on the outside, so I'm on the inside. What, girl? Ha! Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you valuable. You valuable. You valuable. Eh, eh. You valuable. Okay, taste the chicken. Can y'all see us? We can't even see ourselves. I know. So I can y'all see me? I know already. This chicken good. The skin is so crunchy, crispy. Y'all listen to this. Okay. Hold on. What the ASMR? The ASMR? Go ahead, get in there. Hold on, the ASMR. ASMR. Alright, y'all, the ASMR. Alright, here we go. Mmm. 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 I, I see y'all on my You see us? Okay. As long as you can see us. I got perfect timing. You sure do. What happened three minutes ago? I don't know. 
Okay. Well, come on then, since you want time. This chicken good. It's like. It like pillow, like fall off the bone. Type. Hold on, y'all. My brother, right you want something? This right yeah. here is real crunchy. Yeah, we can eat that. That on to my taste test. You want to taste it right here? Uh -uh. I'm a fish and plate, but you want? Oh, well, you can fish. Well, you fish your own goddamn plate. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, no, she all right. <laughs> huh? No, no, she all right. Fix everybody. Uh, 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 I'm letting them fix their own food. You holding up? No. Oh, no, I said. Yeah, I'm a, uh, uh, I'm gonna let y'all fish our own stuff. I'm just, I'm just, I just won't go fix if y'all want to taste. I'm doing more than taste. I'm you ate mine? Come on, Jay. He and him beat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on, boy. Come on, we'll close it off. Make it look so good. All right, come, come on. on this side, Lamar. My brother finna taste. Can't you make it? You hungry? So okay, so my brother, good. he finna taste, y'all. You got to Get, get your fork over there. You want me to use my hands? Might as well. I got my spoon. No, I, 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 I got my spoon. You got to get out the drum. Man, look at this little rice and chicken. Sometimes, hey, right. I, I ain't gonna lie. Almond mm -hmm. top full of my mouth. Uh huh. Sometimes it's best to eat your food with your hand when you got cornbread and cabbage or cornbread yeah, and corn um, collard greens. Uh, Put some hot sauce. Yes, Ooh, sometimes it's better to Let me eat get it with your hand. Cornbread. I don't know what the flavor is coming off them fingers, but it's so good off your hand. I ain't even gonna sugarcoat. Sometimes it's better. Sometimes it's way better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come on. What you what you say? Huh? Melt it out. That means I swallow. Let me put a little spoon over there. Hello. She don't want to get the camera now. A spoon. Not full of food. Come on, just Kitty, grab a spoon. Okay, we don't see you. Uh, what the, what about the seasoning on the chicken, y'all? Because I did something to the chicken they probably wondering about. Mm. So what y'all think about the seasoning on the chicken? Y'all not eat the my The seasoning is good. Yeah, see, we put up. Yeah, see, I'm used to mixing everything. Mm -hmm. Come on, get him some. Y'all being selfish. Mm. Yeah. You need to get him a bite. Mm. Mm. They don't, they don't forgot all know. about the spoons, y'all. Who? Mm. Oh. Hmm? Mm, God, please. I'm glad. Listen, at least y'all know it's good, you right? Let me get the spoon while y'all finish it don't take long for you to get spoon at the draw. I think I done did all my taste testing for the day. She, she done said fingers, not fingers. Come on, what's what's too good, girl? What you this say? This is a little tiny spoon. Oh, no. I ain't gonna lie, that one. You want to play? It's something about them fingers. Uh, uh, this is a uh, small one. Me another little it's like a little right here. So why I got y'all here? But I'm gonna get on that job. I made some. I made some burgers last night. Well, you ain't made I made some homemade burgers last night. Good night, family. Good night, Gloria. Good night, y'all. Juicy burgers last night. I'm, I'm working on the food. Y'all see how I'm working on the food? Yeah. I'm working on putting it together right now. And I'm putting it out. I want y'all to try it and let me know how y'all like it. So. If you know my channel, just go check out my channel at Style S Nikita. I let Tim try my burgers for the first time. She thought she thought I was joking because I don't be cooking y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I don't be cooking like that. She showed them. I'm a breakfast person. I make mean, any kind of breakfast you want down to burritos and omelets. I'm talking about omelets full of everything you want in that mug. Oh. Uh, All right, come on, tell them what you think. You got to get a spoon out of the door. Can y'all see me? Hey, Teresa. All right, keep it. Slide over for a second. Can oh. I see you? you about, oh, you was telling me about your burger. Oh, she don't want me to taste it. <laughs> no, she called me way in here. Okay, well, you slide that way, then. <laughs> I'm tasting the whole time. You all over the pins and everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I ain't that is all right. Stuff. Look, we ain't the only one that did it before. She told me to come taste test. I'll be it, taste testing. Okay, you show sure, Liz Keith. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say. Just slide over. Let them get Nene too. Come on, sister. <laughs>
See, Nene got a look. Y'all look. She Beyonce's test, y'all. I <laughs> had little scoops in mine. So what's the fit me that plate? Come on, Nene. Oh, you can get your taste test yeah. Oh, this one's yeah, a napkin. Yeah. Okay. You can put you some. Hold on. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, shoot. Shabai, give me that Shabai. What you got? Come on, sister, this way. Let them let them see what they taste like. Y'all sit down. Why you put them in the water? Uh-oh. Y'all some cornbread. Y'all want some? Turn the wedding in. Y'all want some cornbread? Give me a fork, Keita, for a You want a fork or spoon? Fork. Give me a fork, Keita. I'm going to give y'all some cabbage. Y'all want some? Sister, go and tell them about your channel. My name is My name is Nene. My channel name is Life of the Wade Family. Everything the lowercase and um space that Life of the Wade Family. W A D E. W A D E. Oh my bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, this good too. Y'all want some rice? Delicioso. <laughs> hey y'all. Hey divine wisdom. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> Nothing. Mario just walked over and told me he started screaming. Oh. I don't think they're having some ranch. Ooh. I'm not though. Peter's so thankful said put some more food on your plate. Who's that? Oh. Hey, uh, they don't take much for me, y'all. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that that was that filled me up. Uh -oh. All right, let me let me give a little touch. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, y'all. Yeah, I put it. Get you a plate. Get you one over there, ask Keita. Which one, which piece of chicken you want? This one or this one? You want the bigger piece or the smaller one? Small one? Okay, hold on. What you say you about me right now? Okay, let's get it right now. Let's get it right now. Give me another one, two more. Two more spoons. Four, one on. No, no. What no, no? I thought no, no came here. Oh, she left with Jay. She came here. Yeah. Oh, she. Yeah, she must have left with Jay. Oh. Come on, baby. I could have sworn she was in the hotel. She don't step to that plate. Come on, it's your writer. Right, right. You Come on, uh, Paris to the middle. No, this is. Paris. This was no real plate, but you can give her. Get up there. You can come around the computer. I'm still editing my video. Oh, yeah, I'm going to share that plate. Is he, is he right? They can share out that plate. They can share out that plate together. Come on, come here. Come on, come here. Come on, come here. Come on, come here. Come on,
Look, y'all. Huh? <laughs> y'all see that? Chai, honey. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about right there. Okay. Was it good? Delicious. Thank you. That chicken good, y'all? Yeah, I already know what my chicken. You want another piece? No. Oh, I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought it was good. You got it. What is this? It's outside. It's outside. It's outside. Oh, shut the hell up, Lamar. Shut the hell up, Lamar. Keisha, let's get some cabbage in there. Some cabbage? Get up, Lamar. I was talking about the last time. I was going to hear you. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right, so this is me. My piece of baked chicken, my piece of bread, my yellow rice. And my cabbage. Close it up. Close it up. Come on. Come on, yeah. It was in the deep freezer. Yeah, deep freezer. Oh, okay. Now put it out there. Go with that. Amen. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I said we wouldn't, but I done been here long enough now, so we can. Here y'all go. There go your yellow rice. Mm-hmm. The rice bomb. Bussin, bussin. Bussin, bussin. They got them cabbages. Mm. Oh, God, dang. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Those on point, y'all. What's up, CC, boo? Thank you, Divine Wisdom. Welcome to the family. Y'all welcome, Divine Wisdom, to the family. Y'all want some chicken? It's nice and moist on this side, but it's crispy on this side. Right there on top. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Y'all hear the children? Everything good. In your case, I'll spend it. Thank you. That's good. Mm hmm. That's blessing right there. You're welcome, boo. I thought she always got a toast bar to say. Here y'all go. Look. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm. Y'all. Look at this bread, y'all. Look how soft this bread is. Hold on. Look how soft this bread is. Look how soft that bread is, y'all. With the crunch on the outside. Mmm. Y'all. Mm -mm. Um, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh, shy. See, see. Everybody fix their own plate. You don't show up late, so you know what food look like when you show up late, right? Okay, let me. All right, something let you fix your own plate. Then we got to go. This what it look like, CC. Nah, when you <laughs> when you got to fix your own plate, don't y'all be mad when y'all go somewhere and you showed up late and this is what the pans look like. <laughs> don't you be mad. But I got, look, you be over there like this. 
Look, look, y'all. You be over here like this. Look, be like, what's it? I ain't nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all peace love many many blessings to each and every one of you guys until next time be so mad all the food gone okay that's how i be peace love and many many blessings to each and every one of you guys until next time this is who love to see you next time all right miss vernell they told hey, okay until next time this is who this is who? Hey, y'all. It's your girl, T. Anna. I can only be me. Hey, 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 y'all. Good night, good night, good night, y'all. I love, love, love y'all. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every one of you. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every one of you. I will see y'all in the next video which will probably be on Tuesday. So I will see y'all on Tuesday. Y'all have a great day. But if y'all see any pre-recorded from here to Thursday, so I will see y'all on game night, 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Okay. All right. Okay, Angela. Good night, boo. Good night, Ava, Lean, Lachey, Beverly, Shirley, Marsha, Divine Wisdom, Cece, Arnell, Shirley. Early, Marsha, Miss Reed. Marilyn, Latoya, and good night to all y'all. Okay, have a have a have a great week. And I will see y'all in the next video. I'll see y'all later now.